okay so we have a data in the aws guruji bucket okay and we want to migrate this data to another bucket either it it uh, from another aws account or different bucket okay or oh, let's create different s3 bucket here source s3 bucket okay demo and simply let's create the bucket and create one more bucket within the same account target and simply create bucket okay so now we have two bucket and let's say in the source bucket we want to add some data okay to sync it let's add some files and folders let's add this files and create any folder and inside that folder let's upload the one more sample files because in real time you might uh, have a different uh, multiple aws uh, folder in the inside the s3 bucket it might be a log or something okay and simply upload uh, have you heard about the pre sign url concept in the s3 bucket uh, anyone yes we can give uh, like for limited time access yes yes let to the s3 bucket i just remind that so let's say uh, this was if i try to access this uh, data from the browser directly okay it will give the access okay because access denied because by default s3 object is a private uh, in the private okay it's not uh, publicly accessible accessible but if you want to share this content to any specific person or uh, something so there is options like you know pre signing basically if you just click on that uh, particular file or uh, image and there is a option share with a pre sign url okay it's basically a temporary uh, session you want you can give the uh, permission to specific person or any uh, some anyone you can either set with the hours if you want to give anyone for access for the one hour or something and if you want to give the access for only particular minutes so for this testing purpose i am just giving one minute okay and let me create the url you can just copy from here copy pre sign url okay and let's try to hit here now i am able to access right so let's try after one minute so coming back to our regular points so now we have uploaded the data on the source bucket right and let's check the go back to the target bucket and let's uh, see so as of now we don't have any bucket uh, data inside the bucket okay target bucket so we can use data sync service okay inside data sync service we need to configure the jobs for the both bucket you know source to target to migrate the data <laughs> Uh, process is very simple just sim search the data sync service here just type data sync okay it will come just click on that and you can just you know to create click on create task here source location basically we can give the source location here there is a multiple supported services here you can try for your practical purpose you can uh, migrate the data efs you know hosted or any hadoop or any you know, other nfs or smb or something okay so for now just go with the s3 bucket select the region where is you you have created the bucket basically and then select the bucket so in the bucket list just select source bucket this one okay if you want to migrate only particular folder data just you can just add the only that particular folder name here or for the all bucket migration you can just skip that part and there is a required one role to access the bucket basically 
if you have any uh, existing role you can select from here list okay otherwise you can just click on this auto generate it will automatically create with the required permission okay we don't need to create manually here it will automatically detect uh, create new one and just simply click on next here destination option we need to give the uh, you know destination option where we want to migrate the data basically just from the location type create select the s3 bucket okay and select the target bucket here target s3 bucket okay and <clears throat> as we want to migrate all the buckets so we don't need to give the folder name here and select the click on auto generate ima role it will automatically create for you okay and then just click on next you can give the task name here like demo data sync okay verify only data transfer there is multiple options you can choose based on your requirement okay project requirement basically it will automatically verify the data after the transfer or something so let me select the default one and you can give the bandwidth limit here if you want to give any specific limit but just for now just go with the default one and okay and then transfer transfer mode basically you want to transfer all the data or transfer only data that has changed like uh, if you just select this option and it will uh, transfer the data one time and after that it will if the anyone upload the data or there it will automatically sync in on the target bucket okay so now i'm just go with the transfer all the data and here is options you can choose according to your requirement okay in the project keep deleted files keep files in the destination a1 when delete from the source if someone deleted any data from the source bucket you can uh, choose option basically what uh, need you requirement you need if someone deleted data from the source that should automatically delete so you can just remove this options okay and for the overwriting files you can just based on your requirement you can just select this options and if you want to select the frequency like a uh, suppose uh, you have a daily basis uh, you will get the data in the source bucket and you want to transfer all the data which ever received on the daily basis you want to uh, migrate to target bucket so according to that according to that you can just schedule the frequency basically either you need hourly basis you want to sync or daily basis or something so based on that you can just select the options okay so for now i will not schedule i will just push manually okay and then just click on next and it will give the summary basically source bucket and target bucket okay and just click on create task so now is task has been created if you just click on start okay start with the default options and it will start and you can see the status here it's in launching state it will take some time to transfer the data it's again depend on your uh, data size basically if there is a large data in gb or a tb so it will take too much time if it's a data is in very less size it will sync within a some you know time time basically minimum time so as of now there is no data so once the job gets succeed it will transfer the data okay we can see the status here so meantime just go to that url again which we have generated the pre-signed url okay let's refresh this url it should not accessible you know request has expired so this way you can share any particular url uh, content to any pe people basically in the for particular time period with the pre-signed url url concept let's refresh it there is other lots of option basically you can just go with that individually if you want to monitoring the report or something schedule history when the job is running okay it's still in launching state still data has not copied because it's still running state
in interview you might get the questions like the situation based like uh, how you can migrate the data from one one bucket to another or you might get the questions uh, how to migrate your s3 bucket data to any other uh, services which we have seen in the task configuration right when we create the task and location type you can see here So let's say if I refresh this screen. Check the job status. So job status is completed. Okay. I think recording is stopped. Oh, it's going on. Okay. Let's refresh the target bucket. And you can see target buckets got the data, right? Whatever the, there are. So we can verify with the source. Just open in the new tab. And in this tab, we will just go with the source bucket. Source S3 bucket. OK. We have this uh, five objects. And all the data has been migrated here. OK. Whatever the present in the source bucket. And let's verify in folder as well, test folder. Yeah, you can see in inside the source bucket okay yeah and in the test folder we have this object right so same has been migrated in target as well target bucket as well in the target bucket test folder so this way you can migrate the data